Hello everybody, this tutorial is all about stairs. I'm going to show you how to put a stairway in that can go from each and every level that you have. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I just went to my level one and my floor plans and I double clicked and I'm zooming into this area here because this is where I've designated for my stairway to be. In your architectural tab, go ahead and come over to stair. Click on that. Now you need to start drawing a line. Now I don't want to draw it from here coming downward because where I first click is where you're going to start walking up the stairs and we would never start walking up the stairs up against the wall. So I'm going to come down to the side, make it about six feet off the edge. I'm going to click here and I'm going to come up about 12 risers and you can see at the bottom of my stairs it actually says the number 12. I'm going to click. Now, in the middle of the stairs, when you first start walking upstairs, you'll usually have to do a turn on a flat way so that you can keep walking up the stairs to finish getting to your second level. So what I'm drawing here by moving my mouse to the right, that's what that area is. It's like a landing. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna come the rest of the way. Now the computer knows how far apart my levels are. So it's going to stop me at the correct amount of stairs, which in this case would be eight. So I'm gonna click here and then hit okay. And if I go into 3D view, you'll actually be able to see, let me go ahead and save this. Once I rotate, you can actually see how this is right here. Now, once you have your stairs, you can see it automatically puts a handrail on here for you. You can actually click on that and do some modifications to it if you want to. You can go into your edit type and change what kind of handrail it is. It's up to you. I have all of my floors hidden. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to reset so that it turns everything on. And then I'm going to go to wireframe and I'm just gonna click on my right side so that you can see as I walk up from floor one, I turn and it lands right at the, the bottom of floor two, right where the, the, the floor is at. I'm gonna rotate just a little bit and you might be able to see how it's right here. All right, so let me get out of that. I'm gonna go into hidden. I'm gonna go ahead and go here. Now, I'm going to hide this wall so that I can get back inside there easily because I wanna see my stairs. I need to put my stairs all the way up. So I'm gonna click on my stairs and then go up to select levels. And it says in order to add new stairs to multi-stair, story stairs, please open one of the following views. So let's go ahead and open your south elevation. Click open view. And then I need to select which levels I want the stairs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's select these here. So let's come in here, select these. I'm gonna, for some reason it's having a hard time selecting them. So I'm gonna click here and click here. And then I'm gonna hit okay. Now if I go ahead and go to my wireframe, you'll see how the stairs went in. Let's see if I can get us a 3D view where it's pretty clear on what it is that you're looking at. Let's hide this guy here. And let's hide this here. And you can see how they're all coming up. Now, the one thing I also need you guys to see is that there's no cut in my floor. Every one of these has some issues. So what I would actually do is I'm going to come to level two. And here is where I can see where it's coming through. So I'm going to 
go back to 3D view so I can select that floor. I'm going to click on this, double click on it because now I need to modify. I need to cut an area out for this. I'm going to go ahead and flatten it back out. And you can see the stairs coming up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my line. And I'm not quite sure how big I'm going to need to go. So just kind of play around with it. And I need to trim out looks like I missed my line right here. So let me go ahead. I think I'm just going to use a big box. It'll make it easier. And I know I have overlapping lines and that's okay because I can fix them. Here's that telling me that. So I'm going to come in here. Let's go ahead and trim out. that delete there we go and I need to put this line back in here and then hit OK hit no and let's see when I go back to my 3d view let me whip this around you can see now that I still need to do the same thing in my um, my ceiling that's in here that's my ceiling but what I can actually do, I'm going to double click on that. I can actually follow the same path. So if I come into here and I go to my wireframe, I can see that original cut that I put in here. So I can go ahead and just copy it just like I am here and then just trim this out. I'm going to unjoin this and then just redraw from here to this one and then hit OK. Oops, I missed this line up here. So I'm still in my line command. So I'm going to go from here to here and hit OK. And then if I go back to my 3D view, I should no longer have with this around, get rid of my wireframe. Here you can see that my stairway comes straight through. Now this, I obviously cut this back a little too far. I need to bring it up so that our stairs are still connecting with the floor. So I would need to bring this closer to here. But once you get the first cut correct, you can just keep going to each level. So the next level I would go to is level three and then modify my floor sketch and my ceiling and cut that back out as well. And you'll just do that going all the way up and then you have your stairs. The other thing I wanna show you is a different kind of stair. So we're just gonna leave this one alone for now. I'm gonna double click on level one again. And we're gonna do a different kind of stairs that's over here just so that I can show you how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to architecture and click on stair and I'm going to draw up this way again go to like 10 this time so that we can try to get this come across and then it looks like it's equal risers so we have 10 now some of you I know have the big grand entryway where you want people to walk up some stairs and then be able to go right or left to go to the second story so that's what I'm going to show you guys right now so we have this here so far now, what I want to do is I want to mirror this one over to here so they're the same size. So I'm going to click on here and go up to our mirror, do the one with the pencil, and then I want it to be on the center line here. Go ahead and just come down, and you can see it put this here. Now, the next step to this is that we need to modify this to come over. So what we want to do is we're going to click on this, but it's not going to let us change the shape because it's like all connected. So we're going to come up here and tell it to convert it to a sketch. 
So I'm going to click on that. It's telling us once we do this, there's no going back. You can't undo. That's it. So I'm going to hit close because I wanted to do that. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and edit the sketch, which is up here. And I'm going to use my line command. So I need to, this landing that's right here, this big rectangle, I need to extend it to be a part of this. So I'm going to click on here and have it come up. Just draw it up because then we're going to click this trim extend to corner. We can click on this one and click on this one and it makes them connect just like we did with the roof quite a while ago. And then I also want this to connect down here. But now we need to get rid of the center line because it's no longer needed. So I'm just going to click on it and then hit my delete button on my keyboard. Perfect. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to tell the stair path to come out to here. All right. So we're going to do stair path. I want it to go from here. Let's just bring it up. Use our extend trim button and do that. And then we're going to hit OK. Give it a second. Hit OK. And let me zoom out and see if I can whip this around in my 3D view so that I can show you what it actually looks like. I'm going to hide some things here. Let's hide this one. Let's hide this so that you get a nice clear view. So here you can see you walk up through the middle and then you can cross either direction to come up to your second floor. Now that would only be if you had maybe a big grand entryway in the middle. All right. You wouldn't do this if you're just going from floor to floor. That's pretty excessive. Um, once again, you can change your handrails. You can change how wide this is. Um, just the most important thing when you're doing these turns is to make sure the stairs aren't running into each other. You can see here there's some type of a gap. Make sure that you're leaving enough space so they don't run into each other.